Flutterflow provides all the necessary widgets for our app development. But sometimes there are some rare cases in which Flutterflow's inbuilt widgets cannot help us as it requires an extra customization. So how we can overcome those situations? Hi, I'm Gaurav from Know How Academy. As we already know, Flutterflow helped us a lot in building our apps easily and efficiently because of the widgets. As widgets are the building blocks of any application in our Flutterflow. But the problem is sometimes we need some extra customization which we cannot do with the Flutterflow's inbuilt design and interface. So Flutterflow also helps in dealing that kind of situation by giving us a custom widget functionality in which we can create our own widget by code. So before moving further, let me tell you what you are going to learn in this video. In this video, we are going to create a custom widget in our Flutterflow. We are going to create a QR code generator in our Flutterflow with the help of our custom widget. Also, we will use the code to implement customization in our QR code generator. So first, I will go to my Flutterflow project and here in my custom code, I will select custom widget. Now, we want to generate a QR code. So instead of writing any kind of code, I will just search here, pub, dev. Pub.dev contains all the packages that are already made in Dart. So we can use it in our Flutterflow. So here we need bar code QR barcode now I will select this one so this is our package we can see our package with an example now here is our code we won't copy the whole code we go to our project and here I will add a parameter let's say data whenever our user scan the QR code he should get a data which will be in the form of a string so I will just uncheck my variable parameter and then I will select view boilerplate code and I will copy this to my editor now this is our skeleton code here to create our widget which is returning us a blank container so we need to code here but before writing any code we need to add the dependency first so to add dependency we will go to our pub dev and here i will copy and then paste it and after pasting i will click refresh once to reload my dependency and after that here I will just select this column and replace it with my container here. So we have copied our code but we are getting these errors. So to fix it we need to import the libraries and the libraries are these two which contain QR barcode. So I will select these two dependencies and import it below. So after importing, we won't have any kind of issue here. We just need QR code. So I will just remove this one from here. And after that, I will click on save. After saving, I just go to my column and in my column, I will uh, select components and custom widgets and here I will add my widget. I will align it in the middle. Now I need to give it a width. So I will give it a width of 250 pixels. Height will also be 250 pixels. And in the data, I will just copy my URL here and paste it, sorry and paste my URL here. 
so as you can see our qr code widget has been created now here in my code i will just remove it and i want to add the parameter data so i will select widget dot data and after that i will click on save now i will remove my widget again and add it again i will give it width and height and copy the url and paste here align it the middle now i will test my widget So our test session has been started and we have our QR code widget here. So now in our data, we added the URL, which is this URL. So let's test, is it showing us the same or not? So I will just take a screenshot in my blur. I will add and upload this screenshot. So it is showing the same URL that we added here. Now we learned how to create our widget, but what if we want to customize it and give it a little styling. So to style it more, we just need one second again back. So here in the QR code widget, we have the properties QR eye shape and data module style. So to style it, as you can see in our QR code, these three are called eyes and these are module style. So now I want to change their color so in my QR code, again, it is some flutter flow issue. Yes. Now in my bracket, I will select I style, add a, a comma here. I will select I style, which is QR I you are I style and in the bracket I will select color which will be color I will write I style color I style color now I, now I will go to my boilerplate code and here I will just uncheck this and then open my boilerplate code and I will just copy from here to my color and here I will just paste them. Now my eye style color should be widget dot i style color so it's done now same if we want to change the color of the lines in our qr code so i will select data module style data module style which is qr data module style bracket color dot and same we want to do here so I will write mod style color which will be of type color now I will just go to my code 
write this paste it and a comma and also I will paste this here and I will terminate it now I will write here widget dot mod style color and then click on save so we are getting our error which is color so here I will select the color primary and the model style color should be secondary and now when I click on instant reload so here our eye color is changed which I set primary and the inside ones is secondary color so we change the colors now what if we want to change the shape of our eyes and the module style so I will just go to my code again and in my eye style I will write here QR wait a second I will go here and it is eye shape so I will write here eye shape and a colon QR I shape now I will add a boolean variable here and write is square which will be of type boolean and non nullable And here I will simply this time copy the boilerplate and select this one and paste your eye shape Your eye shape, eye shape will be widget dot is square. now i will copy this paste here and here i will write final bool is square now here i will write widget dot is square question mark QRI shape dot square else QRI shape dot circle. So here we just need to backspace it and Cut this
and I will just add a comma and paste here same I will go to my module shape data module shape and here I will write widget dot is square and I will just copy this and here instead of this shape I will write data QR data module shape I will copy my I will just copy here and paste it here and in the data model shape it should be a square which is widget dot is square so we have added shapes also now when I click on save we are getting an error all because of our shape so when I click on is square issue is resolved and click on instant reload now we have checked is square so our QR code eyes and the module style should be square in shape so it is square and when I uncheck this and click on instant reload again it's false then I click on instant reload so now it's circle so with the help of custom widget we implemented our QR code entered our parameters and we created color variables to change our color dynamically also we added a boolean value so that we could change the shape accordingly so in this video we learned how to create a custom widget in our flutterflow we learned why custom widget is required and what are its benefits we created a qr code generator with the help of our custom widget not only that we implemented customization to improve the styling of our QR code with the help of custom coding. Thank you for choosing Know How Academy as your IT source. We are always there to help you navigate to the tech world. It's been a pleasure sharing this information with you. So stay curious and keep learning.